And Kirsten and I have known each other for too many decades. Is that two, three, three, three decades from dancing. She'll tell you all about it at the beer break. Okay, so which will happen in a, in a couple of speakers. I'm going I'm to read this about Kirsten. I know a lot about her, but a lot of you don't get to know her. She's awesome. Kirsten is a seven-year South Park resident who moved in with her boyfriend, who is now her fiance, her husband. <laughs> okay, the wedding did occur. I was there. It was actually it was a really cool wedding. It was awesome. And she has lived in California, Nevada, and Illinois. I know all this. And she came back to Dayton because she felt Dayton is a much more culturally advanced place. How cool is that? And it is. It is, because I have our show to prove it. Our show proves it. And she, what she does is she is an active transportation planner for Miami Valley. That's biking, walking, and buses. How we get around this fair bird. And serves on the boards of two dance companies. Oh, my God. Like, she doesn't have, you know, she has no respect for her own free time. She is, like, literally giving of herself way too much. Shame on you. You talk about me. Shame, shame, shame on you. And watch as she pulls back the curtain on this mysterious world of hers. And her topic is Lights, Camera, Dance, the awesome project I won't do again. That's an every arts project. So thank you, thank you. And I, I've, uh, I've joined the, the weird world of people with three names. It's very strange. Um, Lights, Camera, Dance, I, I wanted to uh, share this. I, I actually created this with, um, for the Planning Slam, which is a, uh, a similar thing that we do for our planning professionals. And uh, so I wanted to, to make this like, you know, I'm a professional, but I also dance. But now I'm following a bunch of artists, so it's, it's really interesting to turn it around. So I've been a uh, volunteer on the uh, board of Gem City Ballet uh, for a long time. And one of the worst things you have to do as a board member is fundraise. And it's awful. Um, but I had this brilliant idea because what can you never do in a theater, a dance show? You cannot take pictures, especially slash photography. It's horrible. It really actually does distract the dancers and can cause uh, mistakes that lead to injury. So we came up with this really brilliant dance. We invited photographers, both professional and amateur, to come into the uh, theater and take performance photographs. And this is Barbara Conacorval in the studio where we uh, did it. So at Gem City Ballet is down in Springboro. It's a, a great company. Uh, and it's a, a pre-professional company. The students are uh, generally young, uh, high school and college age, and uh, are working towards becoming professional dancers. So we invited folks into the uh, studio and we had uh, uh, started out with 25 photographers and by the end of the program we had about 15 photographers still actively involved. And this is a long, drawn out process. So we actually had uh, the photographers come in and watch rehearsal and then actually come to the shows and take pictures. We had to, with the, the number of people in the studio and the fact that it was dark, the theater is dark, we had to work out rotations of where the photographers would be standing during the different uh, performances, that kind of thing. And uh, we did a whole separate uh, group of uh, performances with no other audience uh, except the photographers. But you get a, a sense of, of what they were able to capture, sort of the motion and the, the, the delight images uh, in the past slide are more traditional, uh, formal lines. These are much more uh, free-flowing, modern, more contemporary uh, style of dance. This is the, the uh, listing that I gave for, for so that everybody would have the same number of opportunities in the front of the theater versus the back of the theater uh, to get their, their shot. And uh, moving around through the theater, sometimes the, the best view isn't straight on. It's actually a diagonal or um, so it was a really cool experience. Um, we did this uh, for an October show, a February show, and then we had them prepare pictures for display and sale 
for our uh, April show, which is our last show of the year. We displayed the pictures in um, four coffee shops, uh, a week at Rosewood, uh, a week at Centerville Arts Gallery, uh, here and there and everywhere. They were in downtown for a week at the Rival. Uh, and we, so each time we, we picked up all these pictures, we had, again, over uh, 15 photographers turning in three to five pictures, framed pictures apiece. So that was a lot of stuff to move around and set up each time. And, uh, but we really had a, a, just a beautiful display. And actually, my favorite part was when we brought them all back to, this is at the Centerville Arts Gallery. Uh, when we brought them all back to the studio for the final performance, the dancers came out and they hadn't actually seen the, the framed photos yet. And they came out of their rehearsal and they were like, oh wow, look, oh, you know, they told they told, you know, a friend over, oh look at what Yuri was in this one over here. It was just amazing. And some of the stuff that the, the photographers did was incredible, I think. Uh, so this is a um, I don't know anything about photography actually. I like to buy it, but I don't know how to make it. Um, so I think the, uh, we also put up a website. Uh, so actually, if you're interested, uh, I can give you the, the website. It's uh, Fine Art, uh, Fine Art America, uh, Gym City Ballet and Gallery. You can actually buy the prints still up through um, this coming April. So it's a year-long uh, display. At the <laughs> but really, so this is, um, a number of the photographers are friends that I recruited. A lot of these pictures are, are from the Lawrence Eddies. And they took this picture of me uh, because this was this was seven months long, and we raised twenty six hundred dollars, <laughs> and we spent seventeen hundred thousand, <laughs> which means we only actually raised eight hundred thirty seven dollars net, which is really 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 not much of a fundraiser, and for seven months. And they, the other uh, thing was our dessert auction, which we just had. One weekend of cooking, and it's a fabulous time, and we raised almost four thousand dollars <laughs> one night. <laughs> and uh, the, the effort involved in getting all of the pictures out this is at the rival um, is just it was a huge effort. All of the board members were involved. When you're talking about teenagers, one of the reasons we didn't actually sell a lot of pictures at the end, the teenagers, although they were fascinated seeing themselves on the wall, they all of a sudden, there were, you know, self-image issues were coming up. Oh my gosh, my foot's not turned out. Oh, so you can see how much movement and excitement there is in the picture. And a non-dancer would not care that your foot's not turned out. But the, the students would not let their parents buy these pictures. It was really interesting. Um, and uh, the, the last reason we won't do it again, uh, not in this way, is that I can't actually buy all the art because uh, I don't have any more room. <laughs> <laughs> I 